Welcome back. We all know pets can make us happy, right? But physically healthy too? Absolutely. Joining us this morning, Dr. Tony Kramer. He's talking about pet therapy. Also joining us is China, our favorite little clothing model, our little dog <laughs> clothing model. Good morning. Um, good morning. It's nice to see you again, and thanks for bringing little cutie pie on. Tell us, first of all, what is pet therapy? We've heard about uh, animals being brought into nursing homes, for example, but tell us about what kind of pet therapy you're talking about. Well, when people are injured or are in the hospital going uh, through rehabilitation after a debilitating disease or mm -hmm. injury, uh, many times they get bored with their therapy. Mm -hmm. If they just do repetitive exercises or they're told to squeeze a ball a hundred times, if they become frustrated and sometimes the fact that it takes so long for them to get better a lot of times the therapy becomes, again, frustrating for them. Sometimes yeah. bringing a pet into the environment sure. livens things up, and many times they don't even know they're rehabilitating. They're throwing a ball to a dog, they're moving their arms, they may just be brushing or petting the dog, and just that alone is enough to get their arms working and, again, not know they're doing it. When we talk about some kind of physical therapy, at the gym, for example, there's the new uh, hype about the medicine balls, and you're throwing right. the weight back and forth. Are we talking about that, actually, you know, carrying the weight of the, of the pet back and forth? It, it, with a dog like China, that might be just enough, just them picking mm -hmm. her up and petting her. And with Labradors or bigger dogs that are in animal-assisted therapy, mm -hmm. it may be more the actual act of having them go fetch a ball or giving them a treat or throwing a frisbee to them, that type of thing. So let's talk about the benefits then and talk about how common this is. Well, the benefits for the patients are obvious. They light mm -hmm. up, they have fun doing it, they look forward to the day when they have their uh, animal therapy come in. For the dogs, it's tremendous. When China goes to work, mm -hmm. she knows she's uh, uh, at work and she's focused on that patient. And, uh, <laughs> to work. <laughs> she said she brightened up just now. Uh -huh. she, uh, she has to earn her keep somehow, right? So, uh, and then it's, it's really wonderful to see the progress of the patient uh, you know, when they're working with the dog week to week and how much they do improve. Just looking so cute. China, I'll tell you what, she's therapy enough for everybody getting up this morning. <laughs> and we appreciate you coming on. Tony Kramer, we lot. appreciate it. And always dressing China up in cute little outfits. And uh, if you want more information about this pet segment or any other, you can contact the Chicago Veterinary Medical Association. There's a number on your screen. It's 630-325-1231. Pet therapy, very good topic. Thanks so much for coming back. Take care, thanks. All right, back to you, Anita. All right, it's always a pleasure to have little China in our studio five here.